Happy holidays! I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm so excited to have you here with me today to discuss holiday outfits. And I am so proud to have Daisy Silk as the sponsor for this video. And not all of the outfits will involve Daisy Silk pieces, but they did send me four beautiful pieces, including this beautiful mulberry silk piece I'm wearing right now, which I think is a classic piece, but the red color makes it perfect for the holidays. And if you're not yet a subscriber to the 50 Plus Beauty family, I hope you'll take this opportunity to subscribe to my channel. And if you click that little bell that just sends you emails of my future videos, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. And if you could give this video a thumbs up, I would really appreciate it. Okay, let's get into this. And I really can't wait to share the information in this video with you. You know, rather than waiting till the absolute last minute and running out and finding something cheap that, you know, you really don't like, it's nice to put a little bit of forethought into the area of holiday outfits and to get some things that will have you ready when those holiday parties come, even if they're casual parties. And in this video, I'll be showing you these pieces and some other pieces kind of dressed up for a more dressed up occasion, and also with casual variations of most of the outfits. Because as for me, I really don't do a lot of formal events over the holiday season. Mostly for me, it's friends and family, usually a nice pair of jeans and a wonderful top. And I think that these beautiful silk, and I'll also be showing you some cashmere pieces from Daisy Silk, I think that is a tremendous way to take a simple pair of jeans and just upgrade it a notch to where even a simple pair of jeans can look absolutely fabulous. Because if you have a top on like this, all of a sudden you're not just a girl wearing jeans. You're an elegant woman who has grace and style. Okay, before I get into the outfits, I did want to tell you a bit about Daisy Silk. Here is a look at their website, and as you can tell, they have a fabulous Black Friday sale going on. But do remember to follow my links and use my discount code BEV15. It's good all over the website for 15% off, because as you'll notice on this picture of their website, you only get 15% off through the website if you spend $300, but if you would just like to try out a piece or two, use that Beth 15 and you'll get that 15% off. And I did want to tell you that all of the Daisy Silk pieces are the finest quality silk. They are grade 6A mulberry silk, which is the finest kind of silk. And I don't know if you can see this, but it has a subtle silky sheen that all the finest quality silks do have, which is just wonderful. They also have a commitment to sustainability. And it says here, we are dedicated to utilizing natural and biodegradable materials, minimizing waste and ensuring fair labor practices at every stage. And they do have rigorous quality control. You wouldn't believe how great these items look when they come out of the package. They would make a fabulous gift because every item is individually packed in a beautiful white box with a beautiful bow that says Daisy Silk. Very, very classy, wonderful gift. Okay, now let's get into the outfit. And the first outfit features this gorgeous classic silk button down shirt. It has an array of buttons here on the sleeves and it buttons all the way down the front. It has a gorgeous crisp collar and it comes in a bunch of different colors, but this one is in wine red, I believe it's called. And in the first outfit, I have it dressed up a bit with a black pencil skirt, but to kind of bring it down a notch, I am wearing black tights and also some UGG alike boots, I call them. They're from one of my favorite brands on Amazon, the Dream Pairs brand. But I think the UGG alikes just bring the outfit down a notch because I'm more of a casual person. And so I think a beautiful silk shirt, pencil skirt, and then the Uggs really looks like you didn't try too hard, which is wonderful. Now let's go ahead and casual down this beautiful silk shirt, just a notch. And I absolutely love these cargo pants that I have it paired with in this outfit. They are wide at the bottom. They are long enough to look very fashionable. They pretty much cover up your shoes, which is just great. And again, I have dream pair of shoes on the bottom, but look at that outfit. I think it shows a good balance between a very elegant, rich looking top and something casual and a bit more trendy, which I always think is fun. Okay, I absolutely love the classic silk shirt in this particular picture. This is the leopard print silk shirt and isn't it absolutely gorgeous? I love it. 
It again has the full buttons down the front, great buttons on the sleeve, but it comes in that classic gorgeous leopard print. I think this one tends to sell out a lot. So if you like to get this one, you should really hurry on it. But here I have it again with a pencil skirt, which is a little bit more dressed up. And I have a different pair of dream pair of shoes on my feet there. But I think that leopard top is just gorgeous. Now I have it again with the black cargo pants, which are like my favorite ever. For I love them. They, they fit so well. And I think that classic leopard print top goes just great with those cargo jeans. Okay, now I'm switching from silk to 100% gorgeous cashmere. And Daisy Silk does cashmere just beautifully. I wish you could feel this sweater. It is just kitten soft. It is truly amazing. And it has the beautiful, rich look of a cashmere sweater. And cashmere is also known to last for years. So it is a very durable item as well. But here is a look at that sweater. And first I dressed it up a bit by pairing it with just a black pair of pants from my closet. We all have black pants in our closet, but I think it just looks long and lean and very sleek with it half tucked that way. And if you want to wear it out, you can do that as well. And I really like this particular sweater because not only is it a turtleneck, which I love turtlenecks, but it is long enough to skim over your hips and your upper thighs. I just think it looks very nice, either worn out or tucked in. Now, next I have this gorgeous cashmere sweater paired with some basic jeans. These are my Levi's 724 straight jeans. I've been wearing these for two or three years. They are not skinnies. But if you want to get away from the skinnies, this is a very good way to go because they are just straight leg jeans, which is still a classic style, very in. But I really like how the good quality cashmere sweater just upgrades those jeans a notch and makes them look a bit more elegant. Now, although I love red for the holiday season, I also really love black because there is just something so elegant about a black sweater. And that's exactly what this is. But this is even more elegant because it is a black cashmere sweater from Daisy Silk and they do their cashmeres just beautifully. It has this little mock turtleneck, which is nice because it stays in place. And then it has long sleeves and a little bit of a cuff at the bottom of the sleeve. And it also has a little bit of a design at the bottom of the sweater. And I am wearing it with those cargo blue jeans. And in this case, they are blue, not black. At least I, I remember that's what I tried on with them. But again, I think this beautiful, elegant cashmere sweater just looks so nice paired with a little bit of an upscale trend in the jeans and I have them paired with pointy toed boots, heeled boots on the bottom. And I think that just elongates the whole look. Something about this sweater just makes you look long and lean and elegant. Now in the next picture, I have this gorgeous elegant sweater paired with those Levi's 724 straight jeans and my other like boots. And I just think this is the perfect outfit. If you have a family function or are getting together with some friends, even though it's black, not a holiday color, I just think it looks very long, lean, and elegant, and like you're ready for a party. Now, if you like baggy, oversized sweaters, you're going to love the next sweater that I have. Also, it is paired with cable knit, which is one of my favorite classic styles, but it is a gorgeous Christmas red looking sweater that is all done in cable knit, the sleeves and also the bodice and even the back. Well, the back is a little bit of a different kind of knit. I think it would be a little overkill to have the same pattern on the front and the back, but I think this is an absolutely gorgeous sweater. And I have it paired here with some Amazon Essentials jeggings. I bought these last year and although everyone seems to be getting away from the skinnies, you can still wear the skinny silhouette pants as long as you balance it out by something big and furry and large on the top, which this certainly is. And here it is in Christmas white as well. It's not a white white, it's an off white, which I think is just beautiful. I think it does come in white white though, if that's what you prefer. But I just think a gorgeous oversized cable knit sweater paired with a slimmer looking jean is wonderful and casual and will stand you in good stead at many events this holiday season. Okay, my next outfit I absolutely adore, and I bought this last year, and I wore it to many family events. It is, I guess you would call it an ugly holiday sweater. In fact, it even says on the back, ugly sweater, and I don't love it that it says that because I just think it is absolutely darling. I love the fact that Rudolph is on the front, and he's even got a little tassel as a nose. 
that comes right off the page there, basically. And I think this is truly a fun sweater. And again, I have it paired with those Amazon Essentials jeggings. And the slender jeans and the other likes really bring this outfit up a notch. And I think it is just casual and darling. And I just think this is a casual darling outfit that you'll get a lot of use out of too. Well, thanks to Daisy Silk for sponsoring this video. And again, remember to follow the links below and use that discount code BETH15 for a 15% discount on anything you find on the site. And again, that discount starts at item one, so it is a really great deal. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day, and I'm going to try to make this one really quick. But recently in my videos, in my thought for the day area, I've been mentioning that my grandmother always told me that if you pray about something and you've really put in your best effort and you keep getting doors slammed in your face, then you really better stop because that is God and or the universe, depending upon your belief, telling you that that is not the right path for you. Well, I just got home from a three-day weekend trip to Las Vegas. And while I was on that trip, I got a massage and a facial. And while I was looking for a spa to do the services, lo and behold, it popped up that there was a group on to the spa that was in my hotel. So I thought, isn't that great? Well, I went ahead and put the group on in and it looked like it went through and then it came back refunded. And I did that like four times. And I called the lady at the spa downstairs at the hotel and she said, oh yeah, you know, your bank, you probably didn't notify them that you're in Vegas and there's a lot of fraud here. So they probably turned off your debit card. And when I called the Emprise Bank number on the back of my card, it said that it was a holiday and there was nobody to help me. So I was just kind of stuck. And so I told Alan about it after having gone through this back and forth, probably for a couple of hours with the ladies at the spa, getting doors slammed in my face. I didn't even realize that. I called Alan and he said, well, I went on the Emprise Bank website and I think I fixed that. So I think you're okay. Kind of forgot about it because I thought maybe I didn't even want to do a spa day. But then later on in the evening, I thought, you know, I wonder if that debit card was turned back on. I'm going to try it again. So for the fifth time, I did it and I didn't get refunded and I booked the session for the next day after having been told no basically for four other times. Well, anyway, I get the massage and it goes very well, nice intense massage. And then I go in to get the facial and I tell the young lady and she looked like she was about 22. I mean, she looked really, really young. I said, you know, you probably need to be a little careful with my skin because I do use Retin-A or Tretinoin. And she didn't seem to know what that was she kept referring to it as a retinol, a retinol. And I'm thinking, no, it's not a retinol. It's a totally different thing. It's tretinoin, which is a lot stronger than a retinol. So anyway, I just kind of thought, well, you know, no big deal. She must know what she's doing. She must be licensed. And so she starts the facial and instead of a nice, gentle touch, she is like kneading every aspect of my face and my neck. It's like I'm really tough bread dough and she's doing everything she can to kind of break it down. And I should have spoke up. I should have said something. But I thought, well, you know, she's an esthetician. She must know what she's doing. And so anyway, I get out of that facial and I have what looks to be like broken capillaries on both of my cheeks. And at first I, I panic and then I always remind myself, you know, in a few days, it'll probably look better. And actually it did look better in a few days. It looks kind of back to normal now, thank goodness. But I absolutely know that manhandling your skin in that way, your facial skin is not a good thing. But I remembered how many times it took me to get the Groupon to go through on that service. And then I remembered my grandmother's comment again. And I realized that probably at about the second no, I should have given up because God and or the universe was telling me that massage and facial wasn't really for me. So anyway, as we're going through our day today, let's try to remember that simple bit of advice from my grandmother, that if you get the door slammed in your face too many times, it may mean you're not supposed to do it. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.